Ayun pre, maganda 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 ng gabi. <laughs> The trademark of Tito Aldus. Ayan. Maganda maganda ng gabi. 0808 sa mga mahilig sa superstitious belief. Ayun. August 88. Oh. Para tayo lalong buwinasin eh i-acknowledge muna natin ang dupain nito. I see po. The city of Pegwatch acknowledges that we are on Treaty 1 territory. The traditional gathering place of the Anishinaabe, Cree, Oji Cree, Dakota, and Dene people, and the traditional homeland of the Métis people. Every time we acknowledge this truth, we have an invitation and an opportunity to reflect on what we do and what we can do to make Manitoba a better place for everyone who lives here. Kinikilala ng the city of Pegwatch na tayo ay natitipon sa teritoryo ng Treaty 1, ang, tradi- ang tradisyonal na lugar ng pagtitipon ng mga Anishinabe, Cree, Oji Cree, Dakota at Dene, at ang tradisyonal na tinubuang bayan ng mga katutubong Métis. Sa tuwing kinikilala natin ang katotohanan ito, mayroon tayong isang panyaya at isang pagkakataon na pagnilayan ang kung ano ang ating ginagawa at kung ano ang maaari nating gawin upang gawing isang mahusay na lugar ang Manitoba para sa lahat ng mga naninirahan dito. Again, magandang gawin po at umaga sa mga hataga Pilipinas, sa inyong lahat. Ayan. Dito Aldous, kumusta na? Pilis ng pano, siyempre ito, Kuya Nawin, napaka-pogi pa rin, kagaya mo, siyempre. Ayos naman, <laughs> ayun naman. Uh, 8-8 sabi mo, di ba? Oo, oh, 8-8, yung mga mahilig. Yung mga buenas. Mahilig sumipat kilatis, ayan. Yung number 8 daw, yun yung ano eh, yung infinite na numero. Mm-hmm. Dahil yun ang walang ano, di ba? Walang katapusan. Walang katapusan, Brad. Kaya pagka kayo eh, ano, may 8. May 8. Mm-hmm. May 8 at na-8-han. Afungsoy, pre. Sa araw ng 8, may maka-8 kayo. <laughs> Speaking of 8, 8, swerte, swerte. Mga swerte ngayon yung uh, nangyari sa atin, Kuya Nobel. Kaya, birthday, happy birthday, Fran, ano, ni anak mong si Francis. Oo, oh, si Francisco, birthday bukas, pero sinelebrate na natin in advance dahil lunes bukas. Mm-hmm. So, nagpunta tayo ng ano, yung, yung lupain mo doon, Tito Aldo, siniram ko muna yung Winnipeg Beach oh, ano, si... resort. Nakita ah, mo, nasurvey mo, no? Oo, oh, siniram ko muna ng panandali yan. <laughs> All, uh, yesterday. Yeah. Tapos, eh, ang kagandahan doon, na film dahil na lift nga na nga yung health restrictions, di ba? Mm-hmm. Pero mapapansin mo, ang mga tao talaga, nag-iingat na. Tama kayo. Although sinabi na uh, hindi mandatory, but you are encouraged to wear your mask, ang ano, matutuwa ka sa mga Manitobans eh. Marami yan sa mga Manitobans, nakamask pagka pupunta ng indoor. Mm-hmm. Ang alibaba, pupunta ng washroom, ganyan, susuot sila. Pero outdoor, syempre, ah, uh, malaya na tayong magtanggal ng ating mga mas. Mm-hmm. Sa ano, sa kanina, nagpunta rin kami sa sumadya kami sa Polo Park at nakita natin, although hindi nga mandatory, ini-encourage lang na mag-mask yung mga tao, pero makita natin, ang dami pa rin nakamas. Hindi mm-hmm. diba? pa rin na, sana well, eh. Oo, oh, nasana na. Kung baga sabi ko nga, fashion statement na to eh. Diba, yeah, bahagi na ng ano natin to eh, ng passion natin. At at the same time, nakakatulong tayo sa sarili natin at nakakatulong tayo sa sa kapwa natin na uh, not to spread any any kind of type of, of virus. And they need to do it na nakamas parati. Oo. Uh-huh. Matindi ngayon, ECQ pa rin sa Pilipinas, pre. Oo, oh, ECQ. At uh, dahil yun, dahil hindi sila nagmamas eh. <laughs> oh, at uh, sana naman eh at may mas matindi pa rin sa Delta pre hindi, hindi at di umano ha ito ang balita ko ayon sa ating ano dyan mga inform, mga informant no anak ng labandera may mas pre. matindi pa oh. oh may mas matindi pa sa Delta hindi oh. raw kayang uh, talunin ng COVID-19 vaccine oh. ano ibang yun? klaseng virus ano klase ay ito talagang noong pa man nasa gobyerno na hanggang ngayon talagang Ay. hindi matanggal-tanggal. Parang ano yan, starts with letter 
two words? Ano <laughs> to? <laughs> Letter C. Letter C. Mm-hmm. Oh, corruption virus. Corruption virus. <laughs> Kahit nga may COVID eh, na, kinukupit pa eh. Oo. Oh, so, mm. oh, oh, yung corruption virus daw, kahit anong panahon, kahit may COVID-19 vaccine na hindi na nawaan, hindi na mga wala sa Pilipinas. <laughs> Pero saan naman po yung mga susunod na, uh, alam naman natin, yung present administration is trying their best mm-hmm. to, ano, to uh, ma- at least malesin yung corruption sa different departments. Mm-hmm. Now, walang, ano, walang perfectong administrasyon. Papa, panahon pa man ni, ano yan, ni Magsaysay, ni Makapagal, ni Marcos, ni Cory, ni Noynoy. At ngayon nga si uh, ni Makapagal, ni Gloria, at ngayon ni Duterte. Walang perfecto. Mm-hmm. Okay, parang lahat naman yun siguro. Ah. Siguro hindi naman umupo dyan talaga para ang intention ni magnakaho, di ba? Napaka, napaka ano naman no, napaka sama ng, kung gano'n ang kaisipan ng mga leader. Sana naman hindi gano'n. Pero tayo pa rin, umaasa. Yung mga leaders na umuupo, yung mga tumatakbong mga politiko, eh, sana kahit konti. Merong ano eh, merong, uh, merong silang pinupursu na for the betterment ng governance, for the betterment ng community. Para at least eh, yung susunod na henerasyon ng Pilipinas ay eh, makatamasa naman ng uh, less corrupt governance. Ika nga. Hopefully. Hindi <laughs> ba? Pilipinas. O binibig mo na Kuya Noel, yung ating mga kaibigan si congratulations, no? Kuya Noel. Ay, si... yung pinakamaganda lalaki na uh, taga Subaru. Oh, taga Subaru. Oo, doon tayo tumira ng ano eh, ng cross, cross track. Cross, cross track. Nung... At yung kinuha mo oh, doon Kuya Noel, eh, no? Tapos yung, oh, yun, si Mark Banaag, no? Mm, shout. Congratulations, Mark, sa wakas, no? Ano, ano man nangyari? Ay, Kinasal sila dalawa ni Weng. Ayun! Uh-oh. Kinasal na. Oh, Tawakas, congratulations. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. Best wishes. Ki kapatid na Mark tsaka kay kapatid na Weng Banaag. Mm. Uh, dito sa Winnipeg po. Yan ang pinakamagandang lalaking ano, nasa uh, Jim Pattison Subaru on Regent Avenue West. Ayan. <laughs> kompleto ng, ano yan, kompleto ng advertisement niya. Bahala ka na, papadala namin sa yung bill pagkatapos nito. <laughs> Siyempre, bukod doon, binabati natin para naman parehas. Uh, binabati natin si Marilaw Dato. Ayun. Uh-huh. Anong araw, kasama ko yan sa Jim Gutche dito sa McPhillips. Ngayon, uh-huh. nasa Jim Gutche pa rin. Uh-huh. Nasa, ano naman siya? Uh, Kia. Kia. Yeah, mm-hmm. niya ngayon. Oo. Oh. Ako si mga kaibigan natin sa Bicar. Mm-hmm. Larry Bicar, our good friend Larry Bicar, we shout out and to the big guy, siyempre Jim Gotche. Jim Gotche. Mm. Gan- galing tayo diyan. Uh, Jim Gotche Chevrolet, mga nabentahan ko ng mga auto nung araw. Way back ano yun, mga 10, 11 years ago. Isa sa mga una kong trabaho 'yun, Tito Alves. Eh. Okay. Benta ng kotse, oo. Oh. Ah, talaga masaya. Masaya, masaya sa sales. Pagpasok ng tao sa sa dealership, alam na this. Mm. <laughs> Matik na yan. Pag uwi na may dala ng susi. <laughs> pag nag-test drive, yan, kamo. Hey, pag nga nag-test drive na yon alam na this. Alam Panalo na, na yun. <laughs> yeah. Ayun, hmm. yung mga kaibigan natin. Ayun, sana ang tandaan pa ako ng mga naging naging customer ko nung mga 10, 11 years ago sa Jim Gutche. Na nabuhay pa yung mga sasakin na na, na, nabili, nyo, na nabili nyo sa akin. Kung hindi na, ay palit na kayo eh. Palit-palit lang na sa akin dito sa... Uh, na si Mark Banaag. Oo, oh, si na kayo si Marilaw Mark, Dato. si Marilaw Dato. Yes, si, ay, si mga yan. Oh, Bicar Group, yan. Mga kaibigan natin yan. Si Manny Estrada. Yan, mga yan. Tropa pitch natin yan, mga yan. Iba't ibang brand. Okay. Okay. Back Ngayon, to business. August 14. August 14 to August. 20. Merong consular services, di ba? <clears throat> Ang uunahin dyan, katulad nung pinaliwanag natin last week, yung mga nakapag-apply na last year. Dahil na-cancel nga yung March Outreach Mission, no? Hmm. So, uunahin yun. Pero pwede pa rin kayong mag-apply. 
Ngayon, kung gusto nyo makuha yung mga information kung sino ang dapat i-email, anong telephone number sa Consul Gen Office sa Toronto, nagbo-volunteer po kami dyan. Pero ano, ha, hindi kami bayad. Hindi ka nga, tumutulong lang tayo sa community natin on spreading the information about the Consular Outreach Mission. Bukod po, ito Aldo, sa hmm. August 14 to 20, Ah, babahagi ko na yung ating website ano. Ah, sige, sige. Meron pa mga susunod. Akalain mo 'yun. Ay, naku, may there's susunod more na. pa, ha? There's more. Ito. Contest oh. po lang taga Winnipeg, ano? Pakita natin, share. Yeah. Oh, nakikita niyo na ngayon. Medyo mali, di ano niyo na lang, yeah. ipalakihin niyo na lang yung ano. Consulate General of the Republic of the Philippines, Toronto office, mga kaibigan. Ito po. Babasahin ko na sa inyo para malinawan tayo, no. The Philippine Consulate General in Toronto wishes to inform the public that it has scheduled consular outreach missions to Winnipeg, Manitoba on the following dates. Bukod dito sa August 14 to 20 ha. September 21 to 25, markahan ng inyong mga kalendaryo. October 19 to 24 at November 9 to 12 this year. Tatlong beses po. Bali, apat. August 14 to 20, September 21 to 25, October 19 to 24, at November 9 to 12. Ito po yung website ng Philcon Gen Office ng Toronto. Magpunta lang po kayo rito para malaman nyo lagi, maging updated kayo sa mga announcement, mga bago nilang announcement na kailangan nating malaman kung kayo po ay mag apply ng ano, dual citizenship, magre-renew ng passport, at kung meron kayong mga kung ano-ano pa, yung mga special power of attorney. Halimbawa, meron kayong claim sa SS, di ba? Meron, hmm. meron special power of attorney services na pinoprovide po dyan ang Consulate General uh, Office ng, ng uh, Toronto. So, bisitahin ang website ng uh, ating embahada ng consular office o kaya po mag-email kayo sa amin yung pong email address namin ay nandyan lang sa ating um, screen o kaya text nyo si mm. text nyo si Tito Aldous text nyo si Kuya Noel at mm. uh, willing po kami na tumulong sa ating mga kababayan in terms of your questions kung ano yung mga information na uh, halimbawa email address hindi nyo alam o kaya wala kayong access sa internet Pwede kami ang mag-email on your behalf kung may questions po kayo. At shout out again to the office of uh, Malaya Marcelino, especially to Ma- uh, Malaya's assistant Ate Jean Padrinao kasi siya yung nagbabato sa atin ng mga bagong mga information mm-hmm. coming directly from the Consul Gen Office of Toronto. So yun po, August 14 to 20, at the same time, September, October, November, meron pong uh, consular outreach mission dito sa Winnipeg. Manito pa. O share share nyo. Share nyo na. Click and share. Ito, ito. Share nyo ngayon. Share nyo. Share nyo yung video. Now na. Now na para malaman ng mga kababayan natin kung paano kung kailan yung mga days na yon at kung gusto nila manumpa. Ayan oh. Oh, plug ng Pilipinas oh. Oh. Philippine plug, gusto dual citizenship kanya lang oh. Panunumpa sa watawat ng Pilipinas at o Canada. Ayan. Dalawa. Dalawa. Para maboboto nyo pa kung sino ang gusto nyo iboto. Diba? Tatakbo si Sarah. Sarah Ol. Diba? Hmm. Diba? Kung sino sana Ol, eto yung mga hashtag Sarah Ol. Ha? Hmm. Tatakbo si Ping Lakson. Ping Soto. Oh. Oh, diba? Si, si Tito, Tito Sin. Oh, Vice President. Sino pa tatakbo potentially presidente? Si BP Lenny Robredo, mm-hmm. mga tumakbo. Nagpapaligo pa eh. Oh, si Isko Moreno, si Yormi, mm-hmm. mga tumakbo. Oh, August 20, suportahan natin. Si Manny Pacquiao, mm-hmm. eh laban. Oh. Oh, pagkatapos noon, magdi-decide siya, tatakbo siya ang presidente. Uh-huh. Bahala kayo. This is a democracy. Ika nga, di ba? Demokrasya ito. Kung gusto, you know, gusto nyo maging leader nyo, leader natin sa Bansang Pilipinas, leader natin sa Winnipeg, eh meron tayong ano, karapatang pumili. Ay, masarap ang usapan. Eh, segway. Segway, segway, segway tayo. Segway, 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 seg
is speaking up the the right to choose uh, a choice Winnipeg North Winnipeg North ano nasa sakop niya North and yung lugar natin hmm. Tikal Dos Tikal Park Robertson dito sa Mandalay hmm. ayan ang MP diyan ngayon member of the parliament ah si Queen Noel member of the parliament ano parang parang member of the parliament na sana oh Ah, oh, itong member of the parliament, yung mga nakikinig sa Pilipinas yan, papaliwanag tayo ng structure of government dito ng Kote sa Canada. No? Yung MP na tinatawag member of the parliament, ito yung kumakatawan sa isang riding. Kumbaga sa Pilipinas yan, distrito. distrito. Yung riding na yun, may isang elected na tao yun na nagre-represent doon sa Ottawa. Doon sa kung saan, andun yung Prime Minister. Hmm. Tapos yan, dahil meron nga tayong ang, ang leader ngayon, ang Prime Minister ngayon, ay yung leader ng majority, which is Liberal Party. Sino ang li- ang representative ng ano ng, ng uh, Winnipeg North sa Ottawa? Diba? Sino? Si Kevin Lamoro. Hmm. Uh, ang tagal na niya, Brad. Um, hmm. Sika. Walang talo yan kasi nagsimula yan si Kevin nung dumating ako ha Aha. MLA uh, ano MLA, MLA provincial no? yung MLA member of legislative assembly ah. dito naman yung provincial po yan provincial kumbaga sa atin ang katumbas niyan congressman congressman yeah. oo hmm. sa probinsya siya no? tagal niya si Kevin Lamoro hindi, hindi halos natalo tapos umakyat siya sa federal nag-federal run siya, nanalo uli. Uh, tinalo niya nung araw, another Kevin, si Kevin Chief. Uh-huh. Oo, ng NDP. So, tuma- may, may lumabang uli kay Kevin Lamoro. Talagang, eh, politik eh, labanan eh. Yun ang kagandaan ng demokrasya eh. Kababayan natin, pre. Uh-huh. Si Levy Abad. Oh, si Levy Abad. Ay, si Levy oh, Abad. Tum- oh. Oh, natalo pa rin ni, ano, ni Kevin Lamoro. Uh-huh. Isa pang eleksyon, mm. si Rebecca Blakey. 41 votes lang, pre. Ang diferensya. Ang diferensya. Nanginig nun si, ano, si Kevin Lamoro, oh. si Rebecca Blakey. Munti ka na, 41 votes. Munti na malaglag si Kevin Lamoro sa, sa pwesto ng, ano, ng uh, MP. No? Pagdating uli ng ano, isa pang eleksyon, Kyle Mason, kailan lang? Mm-hmm. Last election. Bagsak pa rin calmation NDP. Ang lagi po naglalaban dito ng talagang pukpukan, NDP, sa federal ah. Mm-hmm. Federal, ang pukpukan, liberal, NDP. Dito mm-hmm. sa Winnipeg North. Sa, ah, North, sa, Winnipeg, North, 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 North. sa Winnipeg North. Winnipeg mm-hmm. North. Ngayon, batang bata may lalaban. Mm-hmm. Ha? Ang pangalan Melissa. Ako? Uh, Melissa Chang Mowat. Mm-hmm. Ang lahi ni Melissa. Ano to mix uh, aboriginal tsaka in check Chinese. Oh, yeah. Chinese. Kaya yeah. yung malaki yung ano niya, yung kanyang impluwensya ang masipag. Mhm. Mayat na ato nakikita ko sa ano eh, sa social media. Mhm. Ni outreach nagdo-door na king kasi may bulong-bulong. Ito bulong-bulongan lang ito. Ayun na ko yan, Abel. Bulong mo lang konti na medyo lakas na lang namin sa inyo. Ito baka po tumawag ng eleksyon kahit hindi pa napapanahon biglang eleksyon itong si Prime Minister Justin Trudeau ay nakakunil yung Queen kaya itong lahat ng mga partido pagpaluwanag mo yung Queen Noel sa mga Pilipino nating mga ano oh. bakit nagpapatawag agad-agad walang date ay siyempre pagka ako nakaupo limbawa mm-hmm. ang term ko ay eh, mayroon pa ako na titira na dalawa dalawang taon ano mm. Pero ang term ko sa kaubuan, four years. Uh-huh. Ngayon, pag tumawag ako ng special election, na with the, with, kailangan to, mayroong uh, royal assent ng uh, governor general. Uh-huh. Yung bago ngayon, yung Inuit, di ba? Uh-huh. yung Inuktitut, yung Aboriginal. Pagka ito naaprobahan, anytime ang prime minister, pwede tumawag na election. Ang kagandahan to, pagka incumbent ka, siyempre, pagka nanalo ka, imbis na two years na lang, whoop! Four Another four years na naman uh-huh. yun, di ba? Mahaba. Ah, Kung mananalo. O, oh, ngayon, ang strategy dyan, kailangan, 
yung mga kalaban sa politika, halimbawa NDP at Progressive Conservative sa federal level, ha, kailangan lagi kayong handa just in case magtawag ng eleksyon ng Prime Minister. Ayan, kaya ano ginagawa ng NDP? Uh-huh. Masigasig sila na nagre-recruit ng mga members ng NDP. Masigasig sila na naghahanap ng mga leaders na gustong mag- magsilbi bilang mga MP, na bilang MP member of the parliament. Kaya ito si Melissa, ito yung uh, official candidate ng NDP para sa Winnipeg North kung sakasakali na tumawag biglaan anytime, anytime now, between now and September or uh-huh. end of this month, anytime, tatawag ng eleksyon, magkakaroon ng eleksyon. Nakahanda uh, siya. Nakahanda. Nagdodor na aking eh. Oh, nakik- Pagkasakali. Na, ano? Ibig sabihin, maglalaban si Kevin Lamuro at saka si Melissa. Oo. Oh, NDP against liberal. Ngayon, mm-hmm. ano ang plataforma ni Melissa Chang Mawat? Diba? Bakit siya dapat iboto mm-hmm. ng mga tagawin ni Peg North? Diba? Mm-hmm. Kung kita mo, narinig ni... Ano pa nga ng asa mo, bro? Si... Si Boomer. Si Boomer. <laughs> kumakawal. Parang, parang, <laughs> oh, parang si Evie lang yan. Si Evie, tutulog parang, na. Parang may kumakatok eh. Oh. <laughs> Abal ako siya, bro I-share muna natin itong ating, ano, ah, ating panayam kay Melissa Chang Mowat. Siya po ang official candidate ng NDP kung sakaling magkaroon ng eleksyon o kahit ng regular election sa Winnipeg North na lalabanan niya si Kevin Lamoro. Kaya kung nakikinig, if Kevin Lamoro is watching right now, we have already interviewed you. We, you, you were part of the uh, uh, show before. But we discuss a different topic, not politics. But this time, we would like to invite you because Mel- Melissa is inviting you for a debate. Debate? On issues. Oh, oh, debate on issues. Wow. If you are willing, Kevin Lamoro, we will set a date with yourself, Melissa, and the uh, official candidate of Progressive Conservative for a debate about what you can do what your what are your platforms for the Winnipeg North riding but before that let's listen to our interview with Melissa Chang Mowat official candidate of NDP for Winnipeg North ito na po ang ating panayam eh, at hindi ko makita <laughs> nagpapakilala <laughs> si Melissa sa atin ayan Ayan. Ah, uh, papakilala lang po. I-share ko hmm. lang po ito. Kababayan, kilala nila ng ko. gusto. Oh, Baka, <laughs> nila ang titol do, sa. Malay mo, itong bagong pag-asa, no? bagong breed, no? baka may bago siyang platforma. Yes. Ayun na po. Ayan. Okay. Nakapos. Ayan. Okay, na well. Ayan, kama na. Ayan. Hello, magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, tonight, we are very happy to have Melissa Chang Mawat. Sorry if I pronounce, mispronounce it, Melissa. How are you, Melissa? Introduce yourself to our Kababayans out there. Hi there. Uh, kumusta po? Uh, I'm really happy to be here. Thank you so much for inviting me. And uh, yeah, my name is Melissa Chung Mowit. I am the NDP candidate for Winnipeg North. And uh, yeah, I'm running in this upcoming election, which will be happening very soon. And I'm really just happy to have the opportunity to connect tonight. Uh, you mentioned very soon. Um... When are we expecting the uh, federal elections, uh, Melissa? So, um, I think that there's a lot of consensus out there that it could be any day now uh, up until probably the first week of September. So, um, we're getting ready uh, on our end. We don't know when it will be. Um, that is a decision that uh, Justin Trudeau and the Governor General will make. Um, but yeah, so we're getting ready, connecting with folks in the community and uh, yeah, getting the word out there. Perfect. I believe that you also live in the area with the Peg North, as I do. I live in Tyndall Park and proud to be from Tyndall. Uh, where, where, uh, which part of the uh, the riding do you live, Melissa? 
I live in North Point Douglas, so in the north end of Winnipeg North. And yeah, you know, I love uh, the north end. I love Winnipeg, or sorry, North Point Douglas. I've been here for about, I've been working in the neighborhood for about 10 years, and I've been living here since 2014. Um, but, you know, Winnipeg North in general is just such a diverse riding. Uh, we have strong communities across the riding. And, uh, you know, all of my most of my work has happened within the riding here, helping uh, Indigenous peoples and new Canadians access job training and supports. And so I feel very close and um, and um, to, to the communities of Winnipeg North and very proud to be living and working here too. My first house when uh, I immigrated here with my family back in 11 years ago, 12 years ago, um, was in Flora Place, close to Dufferin, behind the Sinclair Community Park. And every now and then, um, oh, uh, Sinclair uh, Community Center. And every now and then, I I visit the Flora Place with Mike, with Barb, with the neighborhood. And I really, I, I would agree with you when you say it's a very diverse community. And aside from that, I felt the neighborhood and the family when I lived there during the time when we were very new in Canada. Anyway, North Ender, you North Ender? Very good. All right. Now, why are you running for this position and, and why Winnipeg North, Melissa? Well, you know, I couldn't imagine myself running anywhere else because I do live here. I work here. I'm passionate about our community here. And the reason I'm running is because, you know, I like I mentioned, I've been working in the community for the last 10 years. I know the incredible strength and uh, the heavy lifting that many people in our community across Winnipeg North are doing to support uh, families, kids, you know, individuals, seniors. There's people that are just so highly invested here. And uh, I, want to, I want to be a voice that can build on that community strength because I truly believe that change happens from the ground up. Mm -hmm. It does not come from the top down. And we need, uh, you know, I, I firmly believe that a lot can be accomplished uh, when we have folks who are committed to supporting and building on that groundwork that's happening in the community. And Winnipeg North has... Um, you know, it's diverse right now. It has a long history of um, innovation, of, um, you know, within the labor movement, we have um, a rich and vibrant history immigration wise. And uh, yeah, I think that there's just so much work here to build on. And, and I'm, I've been working within the community for the last 10 years. And I just know that to have systems change from the top, uh, we need to build on what's happening in the community and take that knowledge and amplify that. Okay. So you mentioned about there are, you know, more uh, work that to be done in the community. What, what uh, more specifically, can you be more, uh, you know, particular on those uh, vision that you are seeing if elected as, uh, as uh, our MP for Winnipeg North? What will you do, contribute for the community if elected? Well, um, my career has really focused on helping, and this is very specific, but I think it touches on a lot of points. Yeah. Um, it's really focused on helping people um, navigate barriers to employment. And so uh, in working with Indigenous peoples and, and working with new Canadians um, to access good jobs, family supporting jobs. Um, you know, I've worked in social enterprise sector and trades training and employment with BUILD. Um, I've worked with SEED Winnipeg around small business training uh, for immigrant women and Indigenous women. And a lot of that work isn't just gaining those skills. It's also navigating the barriers that people face in being able to access employment. And a lot of those barriers are childcare, housing, transportation, um, uh, health care. And so when we're helping folks get jobs, um, it's not just getting the job. It's also how do we help folks um, access affordable housing? We have a housing crisis. How do we help 
you know, parents and moms who have kids, young children, uh, get into the workforce when there's there isn't affordable child care. And so uh, that's what I mean that we we know that in the community, people there there are barriers to getting good jobs and living a good life. And at, from the federal government's perspective, we can really make a big impact through universal pharmacare, universal child care, a bold uh, housing plan. Um, universal pharmacare that will make a big difference for a lot of folks and a lot of seniors too and so um understanding the community needs and then being able to uh you know implement and push forward bold uh, progressive policies that will help people in our community um that's what i mean about um you know being able to work in the community and understand those needs yeah I spoke with uh, Sean Loney, our friend who will run for mayor yes. of Winnipeg. And then when you mentioned about social enterprise, I remembered him. So um, why social enterprise? Why do you think this is good for the community? And maybe you should, you know, maybe give a, a little bit of a background about social enterprise uh, for the benefit of our viewers. Sure. And thanks for bringing that. You know, Sean Loney hired me into my first job out of university. There you go. It takes a small place. <laughs> Um, and so that's when I started working at Build. And so a social enterprise really is uh, taking business, a business model and business concepts, um, but then adding in uh other factors that contribute to the success of that business. So it's not just a financial bottom line. There's uh, social uh, goals, environmental goals, um, and often those profits go back into the community instead of going into the pockets of an owner or shareholders or, you know, corporation. And so, um, for example, mm -hmm. uh, the work that we did at Build, and we we uh, provided trades training to both Indigenous peoples and New Canadians, mm -hmm. um, and so we had partnerships in the community. And um, one of the big barriers that a lot of folks face in getting employment is around. Uh, driver's licenses, especially in the trades. And, um, you know, within Build, being a community-based organization, they knew that this was a barrier, that we couldn't just have people hired. We needed to help them get their licenses. And so, you know, there was a lot of work and partnership made to work with MPI to, to remove those barriers. Um, but then the work that they were doing contributed to an environmental aspect too. They were doing water retrofits in low-income housing. And so they were reducing water bills in low-income uh, for low-income families. So they didn't pay as much for water. And they were insulating basements in low-income housing. So they weren't paying as much in hydro. And so there were all these things that happened within social enterprise that um, you know, address multiple different aspects. And I know with the NDP platform, uh, one of the big things is really getting we, we need to get more affordable, safe housing for folks. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can do that by employing people and doing energy retrofits, reducing our carbon footprint, um, getting people skills and, and helping families. And so uh, when you understand, and so I'm a big proponent of social enterprise and building off those kinds of models in our community. Politics. Um, more than 10 years ago, I still remember Kevin Chief run for Winnipeg North. By the way, uh, Judy Washington-Lish was our former MP. Yes. And then after that, uh, Kevin Lamaru was elected. Now, Kevin Chief during that time ran against uh, Kevin Lamaru, Kevin versus Kevin. And it was a very close fight. I remember that. However, he did not win, obviously. And now I don't know how many terms uh, uh, Kevin Lamaru got currently. And then after that, Levy Abad lost, Kyle Mason lost to. Yeah. How can you win against Kevin Lambert? And we can't forget Rebecca Blakey, too. Oh, I'm sorry, Rebecca. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Rebecca. Yeah. yeah, Rebecca. You know, Rebecca came very close. Yeah, very 40, close, too. 44 votes, you know. Yeah. Um, and what I think, and, and our approach in this in this election, so personally, I don't come from the world of politics. Um, I've been working in the community. I grew up 
uh, being raised by a single mom. Uh, my dad's an immigrant from South America. He's Chinese. Um, and so, you know, I wasn't engaged in politics necessarily growing up. Um, but, you know, a lot of my lived experience really uh, and in my work experience um, ties into what we're really fighting for for our community. And I think that in this election, you know, we're coming out of a global pandemic. We are uh, in a climate emergency. And, you know, Canada is coming to terms with its colonial system and, and, and you know, colonial past. And so there's lots of things happening right now where we need to be very bold in how we approach these issues so that we have a good future for not just ourselves, but for the generations coming up. And so um, something that's been really important to me in how we're organizing, um, and we're organizing at a grassroots community level here, is engaging folks who felt left out in the political system. And often that's, you know, youth, um, Indigenous folks, um, women, you know, it, it's a lots of folks in our community that, that maybe haven't seen themselves in the process, mm -hmm. um, maybe don't see how they have power in their vote. Mm -hmm. And so we've been a very inclusive, um, you know, we've been organizing in a way where we want to bring folks into this world who maybe haven't had those opportunities before. Um, but it's really about speaking to these issues that we can't ignore anymore and um, really showing folks that, we have power in our vote. And if we want to come out of this pandemic together, we need to be pushing our government hard for things that are going to make people's lives better here. Yeah. And um, that's, that's been our approach. And we'll see, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, yeah. I just want to make, uh, maybe you should also clarify to our viewers, especially the Filipino community members, even if they are holder of liberal uh, party membership, conservative membership, or whatever membership, on the day of the election, they can vote anyone. You can absolutely vote anyone. And that's part of our democracy is that, you know, to have a healthy, vibrant democracy, um, it is having that choice. And we always have that choice. And we can look at the platforms and say, what, how are these platforms going to work for us? What has been happening over the last 10, 20 years? What, does, what needs to change and who best represents our community? And so, you know, that's, that's the beautiful thing about democracy. We always have that choice. There are people out there maybe who are, you know, listening right now who would like to help Melissa in her, you know, in her run for Winnipeg North. How can they get involved and help you, Melissa? Well, you know, it's really easy to plug in. And that's something that we've really, you know, you don't need to come with any past experience. If you do, wonderful. And if you don't, we have lots of folks on the team who who can provide mentoring opportunities, show you the ropes. And so it's as easy as sending me a message. You can direct message me. That's no problem. Um, and so my social media, um, and should I share that now or will you be able to share that after as well? Yeah, I can. Uh, we can. You can share it right now. Um, sure. Hold on here. I think I have your. Uh, or I can share it during our live uh, program. I, I can share your website there or yeah. Facebook it's page. Melissa, yeah, for sure. It's Melissa for WPGNorth.ca. You can just directly sign up to volunteer there. But again, if you want to just reach out to me, um, I'd definitely be able to, to, to help you plug in. We're going to be opening our campaign office soon, which I'm really excited about. And so once that's open, uh, you can just come down to the the um the campaign office and walk in and and say hey i want to help yes there's our website there you go um, and, yeah and if you go to what can you do you can just drop down and uh there's a sign up to volunteer um but yeah when we open up our campaign office it's going to be um it's not open yet, so I won't share the exact address, but it's on Inkster, and uh, it's going to be really accessible, and we're really excited. So, uh, yeah, I mean, people can just come on down and, and uh, you know, see where they would like to plug in, and, and that's how we're going to build this movement, and that's how we're going to win this election is by having hundreds of people out with us in the community spread, spreading the good word. Melissa, thank you very much. In Tagalog, maraming salamat. And I wish you all the best as you uh, run for our area in Winnipeg North. 
And um, we will talk again. Hopefully, I will talk to you after the election. If you are elected, when you are elected as the uh, the uh, representative of Winnipeg North. Yeah, Thank you very much. I'm at Paul. I appreciate it so much. All right. See you again, Melissa. Take care. Bye now. Bye now. Po, mga kaibigan, si meron meron tayong ano, yung demokrasya talaga ay napakaimportante no. no ito all this. Mm. Uh, ma- pagdating ng eleksyon uh-huh. kasi ito yung maraming tanong dito eh yung iba meron silang kasi dito sa Winnipeg pa sa mga mga Pilipinong nanonood sa Pilipinas meron dito mga political party membership uh-huh. na ginagawang fundraising yan ng mga ng mga politiko no at the same time para maka makahanap na rin ng mga boto So, mayroong binibenta ng membership ng liberal, membership ng conservative, membership ng NDP, etc. Ngayon, kahit po kayo member ng ganong partido, hindi kayo obligado, may karapatan pa rin kayo, na pagdating ng eleksyon, eh, iboto nyo kung sino gusto nyo. Regardless kung ito yung membership nyo o hindi nyo, mm-hmm. hindi, in, o ibang, ibang, Uh, ibang kandidato sa ibang partido. Halimbawa, for example lang, meron ako membership ng liberal. Pero pagdating na eleksyon, sabi ko, oh, parang mas maganda yung platforma ng NDP. Mm-hmm. So pagdating na eleksyon, although meron akong liberal membership, nagbiboto ko, yung nasa puso ko. Mm-hmm. Nagkataon, yung NDP candidate. So ganun po yun. Baka kayo nalilito sabi niyo oh meron ako ng ano eh meron ako ng ako sa liberal mm, obligado na ako na hindi po hindi po ganun hindi po dinidiktahan ng sino man ang inyong karapatan sa pagboto mm-hmm. oh hindi ba gusto niyo boto Tito Aldus oh. pagkat ng makbuyan oh hindi eh, boto niyo sulat niyo Tito Aldus check niyo Tito Aldus or Winnipeg North pero sa ibang partido kayo naka-affiliate sa oh ay sa ibang partido <laughs> oh, di ba? Mm, ganun po yun. So, okay lang yun. Yun pinaliwanag din kanina ni, ni Melissa. No? So, si Melissa po, NDP. Ang leader nila, si Jagmeet Singh. Yun ang, uh, hindi sila opposi- o- official opposition. Ang official opposition pa rin sa federal ay ang progressive conservative. Kasi parami yun po yan ng ano eh. Mm-hmm. Ng nakaupo. Di ba? Inang inang ano eh alam mo inang pinag-aaralan ngayon ng ano eh ng Pilipinas yung advocacy or plano para sa federalismo. Mm. Alam mm, Pero hindi natin malaman kung matutuloy ano hindi pero isang ano yan may mga nagpo-push niyan kung applicable ba sa bansang Pilipinas para hindi na kayo boboto direkta ng presidente. Boboto, iboboto nyo yung partido. partido. O, kasi ang kagandahan sa politika, ito, ay, ito masarap pag-usapan lang. Dapat ang pinag-uusapan, ang pinagdidibatihan, yung mga issues. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Hindi yung personal na atake. Hindi yung, o oh, yan, yeah, na-involve yun sa ganun, may kabit yan, may ganyan yan, involve sa ganyan. Hindi yun. Walang, hindi batuhan ng putik ang tirada. Dapat sa mga issues na kapokus, ang ano ang mga debate uh-huh. at doon din ang basehan ng mga taong bayan kung sino iboboto nila hindi dahil sa guwapo hindi dahil sa sikat mayaman nabigyan ka ng bahay nabigyan ka na kung ano eh after after no ano mangyayari di ba saka ano anong magiging itsura ng governance kung ganun yung naging simula ganun yung foundation kung bakit bakit sila naiboto hindi ba? hindi hindi issue based dapat sa mga kababayan natin kung nasaan man dako tayo ng mundo bumoboto man tayo sa sa states sa Canada at sa Pilipinas dapat laging issue based tayo uh-huh. wag yung personal issue lang eh exactly. ang gusto ko diyan si alam mo alam mo gusto oh. ko diyan hindi hindi ito ano yung issue yung, yung issue based discussion si monsignor Enrique Samson ng St. Peter's. St. Peter's, oo. Oh. Oo. Oh, kasi ad, si ano advocate yan ng pro-life. 
Nakikita, nakikita ko pa yan nung araw bagong dating pa lang ako dito. Naglalakad yan sa ano sa Notre Dame, tapat mm-hmm. ng Health Sciences Center. Anti-abortion, Brad. Mm-hmm. Meron siyang ano, meron Lakan. siyang placard. Mm-hmm. Yung naglalakad ng pabalik-balik, mm-hmm. yung ano, yung pro-life sila. Because, hindi sila umaayon dun sa abortion. Na, yan po, sinusuportahan ng liberal government. Mm-hmm. Kaya nung in-interview natin si Kevin Lamro nung araw, not nung araw, few months ago, tinanong ko siya. Sabi ko sa kanya, ang, ang daming sumusuporta sa iyo, Kevin, ng mga Pilipino. ba? Diba? At alam mo, na ang mga Pilipino ay napakonservative yan in terms of abortion issue. Abortion, yeah. Paano mo ngayon ipag-ano, ang, ang liberal government... Ano yan, umaayon yan sa, ano, sa pro-choice yan. Eh. Mm. Diba? Kaya nga may abortion na ngayon sa, sa Canada. Eh. Mm. Ang, ang mga Pilipino, hindi matanggap yan. Kaya si, si Monsignor Samson, tahasan niya sinasabi sa pulpito na hindi ko mo ano, tumulong sa inyo. E eh, iboboto niyo na. Mm-hmm. Dapat malalaman niyo kung ano ang mga advokasiya ano ang mga pinaninindigan ng mga leader na yan? Mm-hmm. Sila ba ay pro-life? Kasi siya, siyempre, pari siya eh. Mm-hmm. Siyempre, ang foundation niya, yung spiritual. Mm-hmm. Diba? Kaya yun ang pinagtatanggol niya lagi, na kailangan uh, ipangalaga o igalang yung, yung buhay ng tao. Mm-hmm. The abortion niya. Kaya, ang bal- balik tayo doon kay Kevin, sabi niya, ano yun eh? Kung mata- eh pwede nyo i-review yung mm-hmm. sagot niya. Pero sa pagkakaalala ko, uh, decision yun ng ano eh. Naiintindihan niya yung mga Pilipino, yung kultura ng Pilipino sa pagpapahalaga sa, sa, buhay, ng, sa buhay ng sino man, buhay ng bata. However, decision nun ng, ng partido. Na kahit inang hirap sa, ano eh, sa partisan politics, kahit hindi mo personally na uh, sangayon ka sa isang bagay na yun, sa isang issue na yun, uh-huh. pagka yun in o sinuportahan ng partido, partido eh, kasama ka doon. Partido as a whole, uh-huh. kasama ka doon. Pero personally, maaring sa konsensya mo, wala. Ayaw diba? mo eh. Relaktant ka, uh-huh. di ba? hindi ka sigurado o ayaw mo sigura ayaw mo ng tahasan yung issue na however ganun yun eh partisan politics eh. ang pinaka kaya yung iba kumakawala sa mga sa mga partido mm-hmm. dahil dun sa mga tunggalian ng ng mga paniniwala Nag, meron nga nagtayo ng sariling partido eh. si mm-hmm. PPC si People's Party People's Party of Canada si Bernier inahuli mm. nung sa highway dati oh, wow. dahil nag, nag-organize ng mga anti-COVID ano mm, siya inahuli mm. o oh, dating conservative yun eh nagkaroon sila ng hindi pagkakaunawaan at hindi siya nanalo bilang leader ng conservative party nagsayo na, nagtayo ng sariling partido anyway mm. that is politics yung pinag-usapan natin kanina focuses on, yung interview natin kanina, focuses on Winnipeg North. Reviewin nyo yung in, ating interview kay Melissa. At napakaganda eh. She talks about, she dealt, uh, she discussed about social enterprise. Kasi dati siyang magkatrabaho pa lang mm. lang. Hindi ko alam yun ha, na magkatrabaho sila ni Sean Loney. Siya yung nag-hire kay Sean Loney. So yung kaisipan nila, ang social enterprise, yung pagtulong sa mga tao, mga ordinaryong tao, to ano to to empower themselves andun para halos pareho sila at magkapareho sila ng ng pananaw so magandang yung laban to magandang ano to Ay. kuya Ravel debate kung sakasakali di ba oh kaya nga nung ano hindi hindi lang po nasa video pero after my interview with Melissa she texted me and sabi niya she is willing for a debate with Kevin Lamro on issues, siyempre. Oh, oh. Di ba? Ano issue pag-uusapan? Kung ano-ano. Ano magagawa nila? Ang mga simpleng mamamayan tulad natin dito mm-hmm. sa Winnipeg. Di ba? And now, we are calling. <laughs> uh, and now, we are calling again our good friend, Kevin Lamoro. Di ba? 
I will I will give you a call or send you a message and let's set a date. At tapos din yung ano uh, the the official candidate of Progressive Conservative na si uh, ang first name is Anas. So we will contact him uh, as well to uh, for a possible debate because we are anticipating uh, a federal election mm-hmm. soon which will be announced by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau soon. So abangan po natin 'yan. Ay, sarap magkape. Para ako, coffee. Oo, no, para ako, para ako. Malapit na malapit na 'yan, makakababa. Oo. Oh. Mm-hmm. Ay, Tito Aldis, may nabanggit ka dati yung na maganda natin pag-usapan yung yung inf- yung information session about yun, you know, yung mga different services. Oo, yung mga oh. uh, services, mga personal, yung mga lahat po. Pag ang ating mga business is yung tao sa tao. Mm-hmm. Kaya kung pwede nyo explore po itong show natin at mayroon tayo pag business side, Um, ipailawanag nyo ng maayos live para at least number one, ma-educate po yung mga tao. Number two, uh, kayo rin yung sarili nyo, in-advertise nyo rin po yung sarili nyo yung negosyo. At number three, uh, transparent po lahat. Uh, walang walang uh, walang sabi dito, sabi doon. At least, yeah. tapos recorded po tayo. Gandaan po. Yung tama, yung, kasi ma- mahirap mag-discuss ng isang bagay o mga topics na hindi ka expert. Mm-hmm. Tulad natin, we are just gathering information. We talk to people who are experts. Mm-hmm. Diba? Kaya nga tayo nag interview eh. Mm-hmm. Dahil hindi tayo expert sa lahat ng bagay. Mm-hmm. So maganda to, maganda yung sinasabi ni Tito Aldous. If you are a person who offers services and you are an expert on this field, mm-hmm. let us know. Mm-hmm. Kung negosyo mo yan, magara, mag-contact tayo, mag-usap tayo ng tatlo ni Aldous. Mm-hmm. Ipaliwanag nyo sa audience natin on what services do you offer. An example po niya. Ano example niya? Limbawa eh... Si Kuya Elmer. Kino. Oh, Kuya Elmer. Oh, ano ba services ni Kuya Elmer Aquino bukod sa pagiging artista? Dungeon water. Oh, Ay, yun. Yun. Oh, oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Tapos yung iba pa, limbawa yung mga educational plans. Yeah. Diba? Ano yung dapat natin malaman dyan? Pagbili ng bahay. Mm-hmm. Tapos yung mga question on uh, mga mga bagong immigrants. Mm-hmm. What to buy first? A car or house? A house. 'Di ba? Yung, yung mga ganoon eh, 'di ba? Mm-hmm. Na dapat unang bilhin. Yung mga mga ganung tipo ba na ma- makakatulong lalo na dun sa mga new immigrants natin. Na ngayon mag-o-open na naman ng mga airports natin, magdadagsaan na ulit yung ating mga immigrants from the Philippines. So, maganda ba katulog dahil talaga? Kasi doon walang natuturo niyan. Pupunta ka naman dito, Bastar. Hindi naman tinuturo. Kaya yeah. sa show na ito po, kapi po yung tulay para yung expert po ang magtuturo para sa inyo o para sa atin lahat. Na hindi mm-hmm. na rin natin alam naman yung ibang ano, ibang diskarte sa buhay. Yeah. Hmm. Tsaka yung RRSP. RRSP. Bakit oh, kailangan mag RRSP? Kung maintindihan niyan. Oo, oh, halimbawa, tatlumput dalawa ang trabaho mo. Mm. Diba? Pagdating ng tax season, oh, yan. umiiyak ka. Dahil sa pagpapagayon mo ng tax, dahil sobra mong kasipagan, hindi ba? Tapos sasabihin sa'yo, may RRSP ka ba? Ano ba yun? Hindi <laughs> mo di ba naman alam. So, so, an- ano, yung mga, yeah. yung, kaya na, well, yung mga nagpre-prepare ng tax, yun. In-invite rin namin po kayo para at least ma-educate nyo rin po kami kung yung mga prepare namin, sa negosyo, Ay, personal, oh. lahat po, i-educate nyo po kami. We are inviting you in this show no, to advertise hmm. your services. Maganda yan, maganda yan. Lalo na ngayon, uh, ano ba magandang i... Uh, sige, maganda yan, maganda yan. Lalo na yung pinag-usapan yung mga ano, yung pagka-file ng tax. Diba? Hmm. Ano yung dapat na i-file? Ano yung mga bago sa taxation ngayon? Yung mga work from home? Nakakakuha ba ng mga rebates niya if you're working from home? Mm-hmm. Diba? Yung mga tipong ganon. So yung mga accountants natin na talagang may mga service na ganyan, di ba? As their negosyo, pwede nyo po tayo, pwede tayo mag, mag-usap dito on on those uh, topics na makakatulong sa ating lahat. Di ba? Marami yan. Marami, marami yan. Marami. Uh, explore pa tayo. Mm. 
Okay, kaya na, Mel. Batiin Sige. natin mo na mga nanonood sa atin. Ay, batiin mo natin mga gandang lalaki at mga maganda dyan. Oh, speaking of magandang lalaki, Kuya Lay Navarro, magandang gabang ng gabi po. Kuya na, Mel, si... Kumpare mo. Ay, si Kuya Lay. Kuya Lay, Kuya Lay, Lay Navarro. Kuya ng Artista. Artista. Artista Magazine, o. Oh. Kuya Lay. Tsaka Manitoba. Uh, Street Festival yan. Malapit na. Manitoba Street Festival. Siya, yung, Por- siya po yung utak niyan. Si Kuya Lay. Suportahan po natin mm, yan. Dahil nung, nung bago akong dating dito, ito, eh, trivia lang, trivia. Nung unang, mga 12 years ago, ayun si Kuya Lay, uh, ano na yan, uh, nagkakilala na kami. At uh, um, alam ko yung kung saan nagsimula. Yung Manitoba Street Festival na yung kung saan unang kwentuhan niya. Kaya tinatanaw natin malaking utang na loob sa mga leaders natin nung araw, sila Kuya Lay and company. Sila Tita Aida, ayan, sa, sa pagbubuo ng, ng ganito na matutuloy na after COVID, no? Mm-hmm. Tuloy na, tuloy na. Yeah, oh, si advertise yeah, natin yan dito, Kuya Lay. Mm-hmm. Carmine Roque, magandang gabi po. Elmer Aquino, yung ating uh, Kanjan King. Hey, Mag- artista rin yan. Artista rin yan. Al Guzman, taga Philippines po. At marami pang iba. Mm-hmm. Ito mabasa yung iba. Oh, tsaka yung mga taga Paulson natin, yung mga yung Kuracha family, Kuracha family. Oh, Kuracha family. O, dati. Ika, nanonood sa atin yan. So, yun po. Maganda yung kwentuhan natin ngayon with Melissa Chang. And um, we will be interviewing more uh, community leaders who are aspiring to serve our communities uh, in Manitoba. Not only in Winnipeg, it, pwede natin i-feature din yung mga other uh, ridings outside Winnipeg uh, para malaman natin kasi mas maganda yung nalalaman natin as Filipino uh, community members ay mga Pinoy dapat maging mm, malaman agad natin agad-agad yung mga candidates ngayon pa lang at marinig natin yung kanilang mga platforma para pagdating ng eleksyon hindi tayo magtitiktak to na <laughs> mini 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 mo kasi sino maganda lalaki niya. Oh, yan lang. Hindi ba yung nabi yung kilala ng kilala kilala natin. Wag nating i-apply yung klase ng politika na nakagis na natin. Sorry ah. Sa Pilipinas dito dahil dito issue based. Kung ano yung uh, issue, kung ano yung paniniwala natin, kung ano yung paninindigan natin, dapat yun ang nagiging basehan ng pagboto natin. Yo. Amen to that. Ay, so, kumain ng ano, ng uh, thanks for my shirt today from uh, Don okay. Fernandez. Uh, maliit na eh. Tumaba maliit na. Ako. Oh, nagsishrink na. Uh, eh. Nagsishrink na. Kaya na rin. Quick recap tayo dun sa immigration. Para Ayun po. Two minutes. Sa balik yeah. tayo dun sa ating outreach. May two minutes tayo. Yeah. Uh, August 14 to 20. Meron pong uh, consular, consular outreach mission dito sa Winnipeg. At the same time, meron po tayong September, October, and November mission dito sa Winnipeg, Manitoba. If you would like to know more about that, visit the Consul Gen website. O oh, pwede nyo po kaming email sa info at diverseindustries.ca o tawagin nyo ang mga numerong nasa screen na. Ayan. Ayun. Ayos. Ayos na naman. Tapos na naman. Okay. Ang isang uh, mm-hmm. linggo. And uh, exciting na naman itong parating na ha? linggo sa atin. At Ayos. Nagahanda si Kuya Noel para dyan. Ayun. Nagahanda tayo lahat dyan. <laughs> At sa magitan po ng ating uh, discussion ngayong uh, gabi na to, umaga sa Pilipinas, uh, don't forget to like and share our videos Our uh, YouTube channel is Diverse TV. TV Canada. TV Canada. Uh, makapanood nyo rin po itong video na to. At uh, share nyo lang po sa mga groups para tayo ay makapag-inform, makapag-educate, at mag- makapag-engage ng ating mga kababayan. Ito po ang inyong likod, Kuya Noel. Ito si Tito Aldus. Ay, Tito Aldus ninyo. Dito lang po. The City of Peg Watch. Yeah. Maraming po salamat. Maraming salamat. May ending pa tayo kayo na well. <laughs> Ayun. Ayun.